This woman destroyed the lives of over 300,000 families, earning her the title of China's most notorious criminal. Her milk powder caused severe health problems in many children, including a disturbing condition known as Big Head Syndrome. Once advertised as the top choice for mothers due to its affordability and quality, this milk powder is now associated with shocking news. This woman is soon to be released from prison. What impact will this have on the thousands of families who were devastated by her actions? How did she become so successful, only to turn into the most hated figure? Let's go back to February 2008. In Zhujiang province, a man named Mr. Wang bought 15 packs of a popular high-calcium milk powder for children to improve the nutrition of his 13-year-old daughter. However, after drinking the milk, his daughter started experiencing vomiting and diarrhea. At first, Mr. Wang thought it was just a minor stomach problem, but when he noticed strange yellow particles in her urine, he immediately took her to the hospital. After a diagnosis, it was revealed that his daughter had developed kidney stones. Mr. Wang was in shock. Kidney stones in children are rare. Before he could investigate further, reports began pouring in from across the country about children falling ill. Most of these children had been born healthy, but as they grew older, they developed kidney stones and some even had abnormally large heads. Tragically, some children died, particularly in areas like Shandong and Sichuan. In Gansu province, officials discovered that 59 children had developed kidney stones, prompting a major investigation. The public was outraged, with some even suspecting a foreign conspiracy. But the truth was even more shocking. All the affected children had consumed the same brand of milk powder, Sanlu milk powder. This discovery was incredibly alarming. Sanlu milk powder was extremely popular and affordable, used by many families in their daily lives. The government quickly tested the product, hoping it wasn't the cause, but the results were devastating. The milk powder contained melamine, 500 times the legal limit. Melamine, used in industrial applications like flame retardants and formaldehyde cleaners, is not meant for human consumption and can cause kidney stones and even kidney failure. According to the WHO, it is classified as a 2B carcinogen, and its use in food products is prohibited. Even healthy adults cannot handle melamine, so the impact on children must have been catastrophic. The government launched a nationwide safety campaign, banning all Sanlu milk powder and testing every brand on the market. The results were even more shocking. Out of 109 milk powder companies, 22 companies and 69 batches were found to contain melamine. This wasn't just a problem with Sanlu, it became an industry-wide scandal. Tragically, over 300,000 children were affected, some of whom showed no immediate symptoms but later developed severe developmental issues. The mastermind behind this tragedy was Tian Wenhua, a successful businesswoman. Born in 1942 in a poor village in Hebei province, she was the second of seven siblings. She placed a high value on education and, through hard work, became the most educated member of her family, a feat made possible by her sister's sacrifices. In 1966, she was assigned to work as a veterinarian at a dairy factory in Shijiazhuang. Her dedication and hard work earned her a promotion to deputy director in 1983. In 1983, the factory launched a research project on infant formula. Tian recognized its potential and secured the project, making the factory a designated producer of milk powder. When the former director retired four years later, Tian took over the factory, privatized it, and transformed it into the Sanlu Group, becoming its chairwoman. She saw the profit potential in milk powder and focused on developing better formulas. Sanlu Milk Powder quickly became a household name, with the slogan, 20 years of professional quality, more nutrition, the choice of thousands of mothers. Its affordability made it extremely popular, and Tian made a fortune. However, Tian's greed knew no bounds. After 2000, as living standards improved and demand for milk powder increased, she began looking for ways to cut costs without raising prices. She shifted from self-production to purchasing milk powder from local farmers, which initially benefited both Sanlu and the farmers. However, it wasn't long before some farmers began producing substandard milk powder to increase profits. To meet standards, Tian started adding melamine, which artificially boosts protein content. This unethical practice soon led to problems. In 2004, reports of children with enlarged heads began emerging in Anhui province, linked to Sanlu milk powder. Sanlu's PR team quickly suppressed the news, but similar cases kept cropping up. By 2008, the scandal had exploded as more and more children were harmed. 
the Sanlu group went bankrupt, and Tian Wenhua was sentenced to life imprisonment. Shockingly, due to good behavior, her sentence was reduced multiple times, and by 2016 it had been cut to 15 years. She is now being released, but it remains to be seen how she will face the people whose lives were destroyed by her actions and the families she devastated.